Hi everyone, this is Cedilia. Welcome to week four of me getting ready for my bikini shoot. I have a surprise for you today. I'm going to make spaghetti squash with meat sauce. Spaghetti squash is a substitute for pasta. You can eat as much as you want without worrying about the extra pounds. Spaghetti squash is related to the pumpkin family and the reason why they call it spaghetti squash is that when you pull out the insides it looks just like angel hair spaghetti so it's pretty neat. When preparing the spaghetti squash it must be baked. If you try to cut it before you bake it it's not going to work because the outer shell is too hard. So you have to bake it on 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to cut into the spaghetti squash as you can see it's already baked and finished. See the outer course, it's pretty soft now. When preparing spaghetti squash, what you have to do is get rid of all the seeds and the little gunk and everything else in there. This seems like a lot of work, but it, it really isn't. It's really, it's really fun to make. It's interesting to make. And now we're going to pick out the edible part of the squash. For you guys at home, do not, and I repeat, do not eat the shell. <laughs> See? See, you guys, it's coming out just looking like spaghetti, and it's, it's really, really neat. A lot of people ask me at work, well, I never heard of spaghetti squash. How do you make it? And it looks just like regular spaghetti. And once I tell them the recipe, they're pretty amazed by it. So it's neat. I'm getting my hands really dirty. Gosh. <laughs> there goes that manicure, but it's all it's all worth it. Okay, you guys, we're finished with the spaghetti squash, and we're going to set it to the side now, as you can see. And we're going to start on the meat sauce. So, you need a pan around this size. I don't know the actual size, but you can probably estimate on your own. And we're going to pour the tomato sauce in there. You can also use tomato paste, too, as well, but we're using tomato sauce today. And we're going to use the Worcester sauce. It causes for one teaspoon. I'm gonna put it in the bowl like that. And for the soy sauce, it's two tablespoons. One. Two. And for the basil, two tablespoons of basil. two tablespoons of oregano and for the garlic powder that causes for one tablespoon and next we have the onion powder that causes for one tablespoon bit more in here. Okay. Voila! Okay, you guys, we're ready for the ground turkey. And the recipe says that we have to use two pounds of ground turkey. I'm going to dump the meat out, as you can see, and I'm going to put the meat on high. You have to let the meat sauce simmer for 10 minutes, and you want to do that uh, on medium. So while the meat is 
cooking, the meat sauce is going to cook, or the sauce is going to cook. Look, Mom, I'm cooking. Aren't you proud? the meat finishes cooking, you have to put it in one of these, a strainer, or at least you can tip over the pot and get the excess grease out of it because you don't want to eat that. That'll ruin your meal and it'll make your stomach upset as well. So, and I'm going to move over here and dump the meat out in this little container. Next, the sauce is finished and it smells really good and it tastes really good too. I want to pour it in this container right here. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Okay, I'm going to help myself to some spaghetti squash with meat sauce. For a treat, you can top it off with Parmesan cheese. And here's the spaghetti squash with beef sauce. I'm finished with my spaghetti squash. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. And now it's time for the weigh-in. And now we're at the measurements. The chest area is 33 and a half. For the waist, I'm a 27. And for the hips and buttocks area, 40 and 3 fourths. It's the weigh-in! Okay, we're at 128. I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>